day one of controller question is is aim assist as powerful as they say is controller really that op is it really gonna make you a better player is it worth changing and what is the real truth behind it well today we're gonna get into it we're gonna figure it out it's gonna take a long time it's not gonna take one day it's not gonna take one week it may even take an entire month we're gonna see but um we're starting this journey i'm not going to talk too much about how i feel about the experience i'm just gonna document how we do and if by the end of it my performance is better than mouse and keyboard then it's safe to say that controller is probably better at least for me probably for everybody now i've been playing as an intro i've been playing mouse and keyboard Professional, well, professionally, like no lifing mouse and keyboard for over 10 years at this point. Over 10 years, probably like 14 or 15 years, I've been every single day playing mouse and keyboard shooter games. I've put a lot of time into Counter Strike, I've put a lot of time into games like PUBG and Rust, I've put time into all sorts of different shooter games on mouse and keyboard exclusively. Tens of thousands of hours into FPS games. So, if one month of controller can improve my stats in Apex, it would suggest, at least, that controller is better than Apex. If it only takes me 30 days, that's the goal. 30 days to get better on controller than I am on mouse and keyboard, then you know the story. Um, however, if I'm worse after that period, then maybe it's a little bit more, uh, you know... A little bit more information to delve into. But either way, yes, we've got the Xbox Series Elite V2. We, um, I played one firing range session today. I played one uh, TDM just to see how things feel. As a disclaimer, I did play controller when I was a kid. You know, I played on the Xbox 360 um, many years ago. So I have had some experience. Like I know what a controller is. I know how to use it, but I was never good with it. I wasn't like a good player or anything. Uh, I never really got serious about gaming until I moved to PC. So I have a little bit of history with a controller. Like I'm not like, this is not the first time I'm picking up a controller. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I've never, like the amount of hours I've put into a controller, probably like over my entire childhood is about, this much maybe like five percent of the amount of hours that i've put maybe even like two percent of the amount of hours that i've put in compared to mouse and keyboard because when i was young i never really played games much i didn't have the chance to so um yeah that is the backstory of this going into this i think that's interesting to see um i did uh simply ashton gave me some tips on sensitivity so i i've i've taken his advice um this is what i've got going on right now i'll just show you here uh controller right we have four three oh hang on i i i, I sh hang on i need to check this right anyway i've got linear four three linear look dead zone small at the moment but let me see i'm not sure if that's uh yeah i don't know i i, I assume linear is the way to go anyway we're gonna jump into it 30 days of controller starts now by the end of it am i gonna be better on controller than i am as a keyboard we'll find out um, we're gonna just jump into mixtape to start, see how it feels. So, for the first 30, 40 ish minutes, I played a couple games of mixtape, and I realized that a lot of playing well on controller seems to be about finding the right settings and the right setup for you. And I got a lot of great tips from my chat when I was streaming this, and they suggested that I need to set up my paddles and also change my trigger dead zone so that they, uh, press more reactively and another really important tip was to actually switch around the little uh joysticks because i have the series elite controller and once i did that the next game suddenly i was actually hitting shots and i was quite surprised of how well i was doing considering it was only like 40 30 minutes in of using controller now warming up in mixtape is a little bit different than playing in a battle royale where you have to do so many other things like looting and moving and i think that's where the tricky thing will be losing a lot of that mouse and keyboard movement is going to be a challenge but for now here's a quick look at my first decent mixtape game and then we will jump in to battle royales i feel like you have a bit more grip on the the concave one which is nice 
Oh, that does feel a, a million times better already. Okay. That's very interesting. Wow, that is extreme. Like, I was not doing that a minute ago. I feel like I'm able to have more grip on my movement and do more lighter touches with the... the... Wow, that, yeah, I'm actually hitting people now. That's a massive change. Well, we're dead now. What can do about it? Yeah, okay. It's almost like, well, it's too hard to say so early, but it almost feels like the, the subtle differences in how you set up your settings and your controller are really important. Even more so than, like, say, buying a better keyboard and mouse, like, you know, which is important in itself, but... Oh, oh dear. I feel like you get... Yeah, I like this. Uh, it's a lot better. Now we just gotta practice. Now we just gotta put some practice in. Okay. Oh, there's someone dude. Nice. Alright, this feels a lot better already. Here we go. Getting in the motions now. Let's see how we feel in a couple games. Wow. Alright. We're here, people. We're doing it. This is an improvement already. I think, uh, yeah, my, my reaction to turn around and immediately shoot people is probably not the right thing to do. Once, it, yeah, I'm gonna get the hang of things. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're doing it. We're in, a, we're in the flow of things now. Look at that guy. Oh, wow. All right, we, we had it. But we lost it. You know what? I, I would, like, say that... I don't know how to compare it. Mousey keyboard is almost like the best way I could describe using a mouse. It's like drawing a picture, right? You want to draw a picture and you need to have very precise lines. Like you want to draw a face. You got to very carefully draw a circle. You very carefully draw certain angles, right? That is mouse. Whereas a controller feels more like driving a car. <laughs> As in... It's all about maintaining control of the joystick, and as soon as you lose that, then suddenly you're missing. But once you've got that control, it feels like, oh man, I'm 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 beaming right now. I don't know. Interesting analogy for the first little minute, but it's like once you're on target and you're hitting, just chill. You don't need to move your aim around too much. I don't know. So poetic. <laughs> yeah. I'm having like a fight with this. Like, I'm trying to remember the controls. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Uh, a little bit too, uh, too violent with the aim there, I would say. After about my first hour of just playing mixtape, I was really starting to get a hang of using the controller. I felt like I was hitting more shots, I was able to kill players, and whilst I wasn't entirely comfortable with using it, it was still felt like a new input and a new thing for my brain to kind of wrap its head around. It was getting there. I was slowly starting to get into the rhythm of things, and I really started to feel like the consistency of aim on a controller is far better than on a mouse and keyboard. And to achieve that level of consistency on a mouse and keyboard requires thousands of hours of conscious aim practice. And someone like me, who has been playing on mouse and keyboard for 14 years, I still haven't been able to acquire that level of consistency. It's not about always being able to have the best aim regardless of input, but having consistent aim is extremely difficult on mouse and keyboard, and a controller with aim assist actually helps to fix that problem in a way. Now, you do lose out on a lot of things, including fast movement, it affects your positioning, it affects the way you play, you can't armor swap too effectively, so I think pubs and hot dropping is going to be really, really hard. So let's try that next. Well... Actually, to save you the pain, I'm just going to say I died a lot, and a lot, and a lot, and a lot, and a lot. I kept dying and dying and dying and dying, but I stuck with it. We did end up having quite a fun game that I thought I'd show. Now, at the end of the day, this is just the beginning of my journey. I want to see after 30 days whether or not I will become 
better on controller than I am on mouse and keyboard. And I can't really necessarily answer if that will be the same to you or whether mouse and keyboard or controller is better. But after these 30 days, we'll have a clear answer without any like sensationalized like, oh my God, aim assist is OP kind of stuff. So let's jump into the gameplay where we had a bit of fun and uh, yeah, that'll be it. Oh, there's people here. First time using a sentinel. Oh no, I've been nerfed. I don't have aim assist. I'm on the roof, is he? There's two squads here? Oh, he's inside now? I messed up there. So I walked into a. He's got no gun, has he? Ha! <laughs> he bounced off the knockdown! He doesn't have a gun! Nice. Guys, is stick drift like this a problem? Should I be worried if my controller is doing this or is this like pro? I'm kidding. I was doing that on purpose. Uh, I'm joking. No, the loot. Uh, help me, I can't loot. Hey, the, the, I was doing well with this. Help. How do I like ping something? Why am I doing this to myself? Uh, because it's easier for my old man body. Biggest ne negative in. Oh. That was not good. Got any ammo? Oh, you do. Nice. Above! I want to say that they're above! I can't. What the? Are you there? I need a heal. I need a heal. You got it. I believe. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. La 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 la. Yo, nice. Come here. Let's try. I okay. Found three tridents, bro. No oh, way. Yeah. Let's have a race. First one to. Uh... How do we see the map? First one to a state wins. No. Oh my god. What is going on? Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. I'm st I still have it in me, man. My trident racing roots. Still got it. <laughs> what was that? Alright. I have friends. That's incredible. Where'd I go? Over there? Okay. Ah. Uh. No, wrong button. Enemy 
Nice. Ah! I don't know how to loot! Come on, man! I'm too slow! <laughs> I can get a 3x. Oh, nice. And some ammo. Nice! I forgot what button it was to shoot for a second there, but hey, we, we move on. You can't park here, mate. Go. Okay. We're going again. <laughs> There's only one squad left. Love it. This is great. It actually feels really easy to drive on controller, not gonna lie. That's why controller's OP, man. You have better trident handling. Skirt. Yo, 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 yo. Oh no. Oh no. No. Ballistic. Yo. Oh no. I was panicking. Like Anakin. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. That's I all that matters. <laughs> hey, that's.